Anorexia, you sneaky girl. Trying to stop me from having the dukkha on top. It'll all be okay. Bitch, it will be. You guys will be okay? I'll be okay? It's just food. Through recovery, I have lost a sense of self sometimes because I've become a girl trying to recover from anorexia. But I'm not going to let that drag me down because that's not going to help anything. I attract a healed relationship with food. I attract a strong, strong will around me. I need to really try to be a bit more constant with my meals at the moment. I, oh, I really don't want to take it again. Good morning. I literally just woke up. So hello. It is Wednesday and it is currently 6 8 a.m. in the morning. And I thought I would vlog today because I have an early appointment this morning at a gastroenterologist. As you guys know, I've been struggling a lot with my digestive system and everything through recovery. And after much trial and error, my doctor decided to refer me on to a gastro. She believes I'm in a good place now where she feels confident doing that. So this morning I'm off to the gastro really early. I thought you guys might be interested to hear how that goes. And um, it is currently the day before Christmas Eve. It is Christmas Eve Eve. So we might get up to some festive things today as well. So welcome back to the video. Good to see you guys again. If you're new here, my name is Jess Tatham. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I think it's time we get out of bed and start our day. Let's go. Hi, hello. We're back now. And I'm gonna get like ready to go first thing this morning. But I've already, it's like 6 in the morning I've never parked myself. <laughs> so I've got an iced, coffee on almond milk here and then just a cup of tea why did i do two drinks look i don't know i couldn't decide you know when i wake up in the morning it's often a decision like do i want a cup of tea do i want a coffee and this morning i was like i want both so that's what we've done um so i'm gonna drink these get ready and then i'll focus on something to eat um but yeah i thought you guys might like to watch me get ready makeup wise I recently have been like sitting on the bedroom floor getting ready because I've been binge watching The Crown. So I was gonna try to put like a pile of rubbish here that I need to throw out from like Christmas shopping and everything. Um, the mirror here. So yeah, I think you guys might like to see that. So let's put on The Crown and start getting ready for the day. Done and dusted. 
at everybody. It was very good. I'll catch you guys up on it later. Um, but the gastro was very nice. He was very no. It's very nice, very knowledgeable, but also a great understanding of my position. Wasn't too like um, like understood that obviously like gastro things with recovery and everything are a bit different to like run of the mill ones. Yeah, I'm just brushing up my eyebrows. So no, mum and I had just going to finish off some Christmas grocery shopping, but first off, we've just stopped for a coffee. And mum got a toasty, but I didn't really feel that hungry or anything, so that's the update. Iced latte and almond milk, delish. Hey guys, just got home from finishing off our Christmas day grocery shopping and it's like 11.30 so I'm having like a snack slash early lunch. I'm just having some avocado on toast with some dukkha on top. And I almost didn't put the dukkha on top because when I took it out, I saw that it had nuts in it. And nuts are still very challenging for me in recovery. But I was like, hmm, anorexia, you sneaky girl trying to stop me from having the dukkha on top. So I put it on anyway. And this bread that I got is an olive and um, basil bread. And it was a challenge for me to get it. But it's so good. So I'm very happy I got it. So anyway, I'm just going to sit here on my bed which I know is very very bad and eat this but I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do with the rest of my day because technically my sister's first day of holidays like she works full time I just hope we can hang out but I just don't know what we can do hmm. words on bathroom walls oh my god you guys I saw it the other day I bawled the whole time because like it was such a good movie and like there were parts in it that I related to so strongly it was really emotional so like I will do like that movie does have a little bit of like a trigger warning I'd say but it was so good mm. yeah okay I'm gonna eat my toast and decide what I'm gonna do with my day. I'm now laying on the floor. Um, one thing I want to discuss with you guys is something that I've started doing recently, um, or more like I've been trying to get into recently, and that is, let me lean you guys up here actually, that might be better. Is journaling. Obviously like keeping a diary and journaling is something I think a lot of people would wanna do, but like, it's hard to keep up with and it's something I did a few times during early recovery days to try to keep track of everything but I found um, writing sort of quite draining and that's a big reason why I have this channel because it is like sort of my uh, sort of like video diary I guess of my recovery journey but I'm a big believer in manifestation and um, like karma and, and putting good vibes out there and like sending positive energy out um, and I feel like I've definitely experienced like the positive effects of manifestation in the past I know it's sort of like some people probably like that's ridiculous but I don't think it is um, so I bought this little journal the other day just from Kiki K um, to sort of like write my manifestations down in um, and I think this really helps me get like out what I want like sometimes I feel like through recovery I have lost a sense of self sometimes because I've become a girl trying to recover from anorexia um, but I feel like being able to write down manifestations and goals and everything sort of reminds me that there's so much more to it than just that like I can write down about you know like I'm obviously want to like I attract a healed relationship with food. I attract a strong, strong will to continue recovery, but I also attract love for myself and for the people around me. I attract safety for my life, for the people in my life. Dream, I aim, I attract success. Uh, I attract growth for my channel. Um, and everything like that so I feel like it just like allows me to sort of 
have a moment where you're like, okay, like, this is what I want. And it's so much more than, like, just recovering. So I think I want to do, like, a little bit of manifestation right now. I wrote some down the other day um, about attracting confidence, um, attracting wealth. And when I say wealth, it's not necessarily financial wealth. Wealth is fulfilled relationships, fulfilled relationship with yourself. Um, and yeah, so I decided to share that with you guys. It's something I feel like I've never really spoken about on here before. And I do definitely want to get into it, definitely coming into the new year and everything like that. Um, but I'll show you guys what else. So basically, I got some more journals as well. You're probably going to be like, Jessica, are you going to fill those all out? And like, I don't know. But um, one of my biggest focuses for the new year, I feel, is just staying in touch with myself. Obviously, it being a new year, my recovery journey going really well at the moment. I want to keep that momentum up, but like sort of practice a bit more self-reflection and everything so I can keep myself on track. So anyway, I have been wanting journals from this company um, for a very long time, but I've just like never ordered them. But I felt like coming into the new year and sort of having the goal of reflection and manifestation and, and good vibes only, um, I'd get these. So I got both of the ones that they sell. So it's from The Routine, that's the company's name, but also this is the name of this specific journal. So it's the daily routine journal and it's not dated or anything, which I really like, but it has these pages on it. So it says my goals, professional, personal relationship today I'm grateful for, self-development, commitment, like I will read, pod, listen to podcast, journal, meditate, everything like that. To-do list, appointment list, which I actually think is really important because like often I have like multiple appointments in a day. So it's cool to have be able to write them down. Uh, two positive habits today, today's exercise, and what I'm trying to really focus on at the moment is exercise doesn't have to, is not going to the gym and like, you know, injuring myself over and over just to work out, it's going for a walk, it's skating, it's doing some stretching or whatever like that. Uh, today's meals and water, um, I'm not too inclined to keep track of my meals, but I think meals sometimes if I'm like struggling with eating a little bit, um, keeping track of what I have eaten during the day is really important. And then it's got a night review section. So something great that happened today. How could I have made today better? And then tomorrow. So like wake up time, the breakfast and one task to complete for my goals. I really like how it marks tomorrow's breakfast because some days if I've had like a big day, I get really nervous with breakfast the next day and I still always have it. But I think writing it down really makes it um, me wanting to like still eat it in the morning. And then the second journal that I got is questions for myself. Now this is one that I'm just going to slowly fill out at my leisure. Like I'm not really particularly like committed to getting this one done in a certain amount of time. But I just saw this one on there and I was like that is such a perfect like it's just filled with prompts to sort of reflect. Like um, well that one's a bit depressing to open up on first so I might open up another one. So it says to what degree have I actually controlled the course of my life so far? What things do I let run themselves or me? When was the last time I gave up on a goal? Why did I give up? What lessons can I take from this? In the last 12 months how have I grown as a person? How did I achieve this? What can I learn from it? I think that's like a big one I'll have to fill out. Like got these questions and then it's got heaps of room to write it out and then like throughout the book it's got little quotes so this is i write because i don't know what i think until i read what i say and there's another one here journaling can be an excellent way to increase self-awareness discover and change habits and i think that's a big reason why i want to get into sort of keeping track of my feelings so yeah i will link these below because i think they're such a great thing to have especially going into the new year but for now i'm just going to use my little manifestation journal and just draw, um, write down some things that i want to attract and get my feelings out and everything so i'm gonna do that now hope you guys enjoyed seeing that and um if you want to know more about journaling and everything i might do a video or something on it in the new year and show you guys how i track everything like that
is hold a heart Leaving will never mean you're far apart Release the hounds inside your mind They'll lead you to the place you belong to Help me Eating a bit of chocolate. This is Cadbury's limited release gingerbread chocolate for Christmas. It's alright. It's not amazing, but the food doesn't have to be perfect. So I bought this, so I'm just going to enjoy little bits of the week. Anyway. As you saw, I went for a swim, which was very nice, but I'm so tired now. So, I'm going to head to bed pretty early tonight, but I thought I would update you guys on my gastro appointment. So basically, there wasn't really anything new, he just more gave me like strategies to help deal with everything. And he wrote me down a little piece of paper. So basically, I have to go back in six weeks. But before I go back, I have to go get an x-ray to make sure everything, like, pretty much works properly. And I also have to go and get um, some more blood tests on top of the ones I normally get. So, like, to get my iron done, antibody, something, something, something. I don't know. So I've got to get a few things done before I go back. But basically, he said, in the interim... I have to aim to drink 2 to 2.5 litres of water a day. And then I have to go back on Movicol. Two a day. And then once I sort of start getting like better um, digestion and bowel movements and everything, I can then drop the Movicol and then go on like fibre supplements. And then that's sort of to do that over this next six weeks. And then right before I go back and see him, go get this x-ray and blood test. And then if things still aren't good, um, we're going to do a endoscopy and colonoscopy. Because um, he said basically with the constipation and uh, digestive issues in that department, he said we actually can't do any further tests until we sort that out. Because basically that'll just impede on, on, on everything. So I really have to sort out these bowel movements and everything before I do anything else. So it's a bit of like a ugh, yucky thing to talk about, but it's the truth. But he spoke a lot to me about like IBS and how the gut obviously has a massive role in digestion and everything. But he's like, it, it honestly comes back to the brain. And we spoke briefly about like anxiety and stress and how that really impacts the gut and digestion and everything. And obviously that's something I'm trying to get better at. Um, controlling but it definitely is challenging so yeah i'm just going to really try to focus that on that i'm going to start tomorrow with the mother coal and everything i hate mother coal so much you guys like it's actually like such a triggering thing for me to take now because it just takes me back to a really bad time in recovery but i know it's only for six weeks and through that six weeks it'll be christmas and new year's and everything so i will be distracted and it will be a happy time so yeah i'm going to start that tomorrow i'm not quite sure like what my schedule will be taking it like i don't love taking it in the morning because it tends to a fill me up 
and it can make me feel sick but also if I don't take it in the morning will I take it probably not so I might try taking it tomorrow morning and see how I go oh I really don't want to take it again God, I thought my mobile call days were over, to be honest with you guys. Ugh. Mm. Anyway, no, I'm not going to be in a negative mindset about it. It's okay to be upset about it, but I'm not going to let that drag me down because that's not going to help anything. I'm just feeling like tired. Like appointments always make me so tired because it's just like ugh, such a drag. Um, and then, yeah, I've just been sort of beat all day. I think I've just like, you know, had a big morning and then I went for a swim and swimming always makes me super tired. So I have an early night tonight um, and I'm working all day tomorrow. I actually don't even know what time I start. I think it's quite late. Well, like not an early start at least. Um, so yeah, tomorrow's Christmas Eve. So that'll be nice. And yeah, anyway, I might wrap up this vlog here today. It was a bit of like a little, just like another day in my life insight i didn't really end up showing you guys what i the rest of what i ate today but other than what i showed you after the epic toast a few hours later i had a coffee and a bowl of cereal and then for dinner we had grilled i had a chicken burger and then i just had that four little pieces of chocolate there so that was today's meal um I need to really try to be a bit more constant with my meals at the moment. I am struggling a bit just because my appetites decrease so much and I'm struggling with a bit of nausea and everything, obviously due to my gut issues. So I really need to try to focus on that over Christmas and reassure myself that it will be okay. Which it will be. You guys will be okay. I'll be okay. It's just food. We'll eat, make our bodies nourished and live on. So anyway, guys, oh my God, I think I'm going crazy. I'm so tired. I'm gonna go get ready and get into bed. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you like what you saw, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel and follow me at Just Tatham on Insta if you wanna see more. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So have a good day, week, night. <laughs> I'll see you guys, bye.